Good morning, my classy people. Wayne Bolden. It's Sunday morning and it's football time, right? Hey, we wanted to take a look at a race, the Valedictory Stakes, over there at uh, Woodbine today on Sunday. Uh, it is a grade three race. Um, going a mile and a half, it's a marathon, right, on the synthetic. And uh, it's a full field of 12 for sure, uh, three year olds and up. Um, 150,000 so very nice race and as always please your closed captions turn them on and uh, tip sheets once again thanks everybody want to give a shout out to Richard Matthews right well Richard Matthews is a viewer of ours and I want to thank him for holding me accountable I've been given Flavian Pratt the business and you know he kind of didn't take exception he did it in a classy way but maybe you know I was over the top and have been so again I'm always open to learn I'm a student of the game Game and of life itself and people are put in your life to make you better so you have to be aware of when those people appear in front of you so hey mr. Richard thanks so much man for your your insight and uh, I'll make an adjustment because maybe you know I have a bigger a bigger uh, uh, calling to do something other than something like that okay no disrespect to Flavian I was just having some fun as I always do but again it doesn't change the fact that you uh, you know keep holding me accountable and that's who the people the genuine and classy people I want in my life that we don't just endorse stuff we hold each other accountable in life that's what's missing so Richard Matthews thanks so much man and uh, please keep watching don't you know he was ready to bell out on us and, and that's not what we're trying to do here for sure so again man much respect much love to you my classy classy brother all right we'll make the adjustment on this and sometime God put people in your life to to help you along the track you just have to be discerning enough to know it and Richard is holding me accountable and did it so classy so again shout out to Richard Matthews for sure well let's dive into the um, uh, steak race over there, seventh race today at uh, Woodbine. Uh, you know, a full field of 12, a mile and a half. The favorites in the race are deep, deep closers. Well, a couple of them, right? You know, but I'm going to go ahead. There's going to be a horse. I'm going to take a little chance here that's going to be on the lead, Angel Lou. Now, Angel, Angel, Angel Lou. Angel Lou, uh, speed figure wise, is a cut below these overall but this is the lone speed in the race and you have Louis Contreras on the course and it's Kevin Attar it's just very hard for me not to use a horse particularly at eight to one that's going to be bounding on the lead particularly in the longer race because he could rock him to sleep or she could rock him to sleep she's a Philly angel, uh, angel Lou for sure so I'm going to take a little risk here and try a little value I'm going to try to take the number four horse on top Angel Lou uh, Eight starts, two wins, two seconds, and three thirds by curling on the back end by Indian Charlie. So we know where the horse gets his speed from, the Indian, her speed from Indian Charlie. And curling, the horse should be able to run all day, right? That's the curling that Asmussen trained and I thought should have won the Derby. But again, to me, Angel Lou is is the speed of the race the horse uh, come out of a november 12th race 22 days ago which was the maple leaf grade three and ran second by one so again i think there's some upside lightly lightly raced four-year-old with only eight starts maybe she's improved off that race to bring her up to speed Sp overall speed figure wise okay but she is a cut a two below a couple of these in here who are very accomplished and stake winners but the fact that she's going to be on the lead she's a lightly raced I'm going to give her a chance she'll be my top pick in here and my second pick is a nice price too the number five horse elusive night well this horse is 10 to 1 on the morning line four wins from 13 starts four seconds and one third for 217,000 and it is the daughter of ghost zap or the son of ghost zapper right and on the back end by street cry wow elusive night well, I mean just have both of my sires um, in the bloodline go sapper and street cry well elusive knight is 10 to 1 Doyle, Doyle is doing the training and Gary Boulange is in the yards the horse is coming off of an allowance win just getting up uh, as a dead heat uh, for first at 9 to 2 that's some 21 days ago 
this horse will be making up a ton of ground for sure. And uh, at 10 to 1, you should use the number 5 horse, Elusive Knight, in your exactors and drive factors for sure. If for no other reason that the horse is a hard hitter and is the daughter or the son of Ghost Zapper and on the back end by Street Cry. We like that a whole, whole bunch. And I tell you, the trainer, I think it's Michael, Michael Doyle, right, uh, uh, Do Dolan is 20% uh, and with Gary Boulanger together they're 40%. So the number five to me is a horse that you do need to pay attention for to and if you're using exotics please use the number five. Uh, it offers great value and the horse has a great chance to run as she steps into Stakes Company for the first time I believe. Yes. And again, our third pick will be the favorite in the race. The number 12 horse, which I hate to be way outside, which is no excuse, by the way, because it's a mile and a half, so there's no reason for the number 12 horse, who's a star, to be wide at any point in this race. I mean, a horse should have a long run into the first turn and should be able to tuck. And you have, you do have Emma Jane Wilson on, so she knows how to ride. I mean, I, it's just something about taking horses way outside. But that being said, um, uh, uh, who's a star? The number 12 is the favorite in the race, and rightly so. At 5-2, to two, won 6 of 16 starts, 1 second, 2 thirds. Mark Cassie is doing all the training, and I told you it's Emma Jane doing the piloting on top. The horse is by Taurus on the back end by Carson City. And I tell you, the horse is coming out of the autumn grade 2 stake race on November um, 6, some 28 days ago. And of course... Uh, won the race by a half, coming from deep, deep, deep back in a field of 10. So once again, this horse should have been freshened up in the last four weeks. Emma Jane knows how to ride that race course. Mark Cassidy, well, he's a Hall of Famer. Together, they're 20%. And the number 12 horse is clearly the horse to beat in here. I hate the post position, but I don't think that's a big negative in this spot for the simple fact it's a mile and a half race. Everybody should get the positions that they want. And if you can't negotiate where you want to be uh, in a mile and a half race, then, you know, that's a, that's a problem all in itself. But I don't think that's going to be the case with uh, the number 12, especially with Emma Jane. She's just too classy not to be able to tuck this horse by the time they make it into the first turn, which is a long way down the stretch for sure. So in this year's uh, stake race here, seventh race on Sunday, the number uh, four horse, we're going to take a, a flyer on a Angel Lou uh, at 8-1. to one. Uh, She's not the best horse in turn. Uh, she's a filly against some Colts and Gelding. She's not the best horse uh, speed figure-wise, but she is getting uh, spotted some weight uh, in here for sure. Uh, maybe uh, uh, eight, six, seven to eight pounds because she is a filly. We want to give this girl a chance at eight to one for sure. Our second pick is a number five. That's right. The son of Ghost Zapper on the back end by, yeah, that's right. The old street cry. The number five horse elusive night. And then of course the favorite in the race. The one they all going to have to be who's a star. So for us, we're being a little cute here. Four, five, twelve in that order. Please remember to use the number five horse on all your tickets because that's great, great value. And Bowling J should hit the board with the number five for sure, as always. So I'll talk to y'all real soon. Have a great weekend. Watch a little football today. Maybe a little uh, soccer's on as well in the World Cup for sure, as always. Talk to y'all real soon. Have a great week as we move towards a holiday weekend or, you know, in a couple weeks, a holiday. Stay classy, and once again, a shout-out to my boy, Richard uh, Matthews. Really appreciate you, brother. I'm going to tip my hat to you. Very classy.